Managers of Reddit, what is the most unprofessional thing an employee has done that resulted in an immediate termination? I was the manager at a local concrete plant. We hired a new yardman whose responsibilities were to drive the payloader and load the plant when needed, and keep the piles of sand and aggregate pushed up and clean. I trained him for a few hours on the machine. He had experience, bit on a different style of loader, and then returned to my office. A while later, I look over the yard and see the loader sitting on top of the 3 stroke 4 gravel pile at 45 degree angle, bucket full and raised, motionless. I called to him on the mobile radio, and got no response. The piles were in the far back of the yard, and for the next few minutes I called again, and again but my calls were unanswered. Fearing a mechanical, or worst case scenario a medical emergency, me and one of my dispatchers ran the 150 or so meters from the office through the yard to the loader and there he is, on his cell phone. I climb the ladder and bang on the door, and he responds in a rather loud voice, hey, I am on the phone. I immediately tell him to dump his bucket and come down off of the pile. At first he ignores me, but after after a second request he complies, but he is visibly aggravated. He proceeded to ask me what my freaking problem was, to which I respond. My problem is, as of right now I need to hire someone to drive this freaking loader. Get off the property. He was very sour about it, and as the three of us walked back to the office I radioed the owner, who had his termination slip ready when we got there. Well, of course he had to get halfway up the pile. Cell service probably sucked at the bottom. Wasn't the manager, but worked at Walmart where I had a co-worker in another department show up, clock in, leave to his other job for the day, return after his shift at the other job was over, and then clock out. He got away with this for 2 plus months. Needless to say, he and his department manager were fired as soon as other management found out. Not sure if they were in on it together. But either way it was entertaining watching them get escorted out of the building. Not the manager, just witness the firing. The delivery boy answered his personal cell phone with Tony's abortion clinic. You make em, we scrape em in front of customers and our very religious boss. It went over well s. My dad does a version of this. He says, city morgue, you stab em, we slab em. One guy who was fired for calling and saying his mom was in the hospital, he posted on Facebook that he was going to a golf tournament. My district manager was good friends with his mother. What a guy, eh? My fiancé worked at a shady car dealership for a short time. He came home and told me this one car technician had borrowed a high-end sports car from the lot to take for a joyride. He then proceeded to flip the car totaling it and fled the scene leaving his three monster energy drinks behind in the mangled car. Turns out, he violated his probation by driving the vehicle and had to go back to jail. The shady butt car dealership fired him obviously. Had an employee come back from work on drugs, pretty sure H or some other opiate. They could hardly stand. I saw them drink out of two glasses and then try to take them to their table for the guests. I stopped him and brought him in the office. He then told me I was unprofessional and didn't deserve my job. Things quickly escalated. He left the office and walked into the restaurant. A random table asked him for a refill and he told them frick you. The police got called and he was escorted out. He then passed out in his car with the heat going on a warm spring day. Luckily another employee noticed him while leaving. He said the windows of his car had started to build condensation on them and the guy was slumped over the wheel. 911 was called again. The guy could hardly put a sentence together until the police showed up again. He then somehow pulled it together as the police pulled up and he drove away after talking to the cops. A few months later he was on an arrest site for possession of M and H and had a few other charges. Not me, but someone I worked with had an employee throw a cup of tea in his face, in his office, sitting at his desk. He just looked at the dude, dripping tea, and said get out. I was a partner business but wasn't involved in the day to day management or anything much anymore. Started another venture. I'm a big rough looking black guy, which is important for the story. I can't remember the reason, but I needed to sign some paperwork and it had to happen within the hour. I think it had to do with a big client and some type of equity in their business in exchange for service. So I left the gym and drove straight to the office. I was showered and clean, but in casual clothing jeans and a t-shirt. When I arrived, the receptionist said very loudly can I help you? 
there was already something off with her tone, but I didn't really care. I simply said yes, I'd like to see Mr. Hampton. He's expecting me. I should have said my name, which she'd have maybe recognized, but I don't know why I didn't or she didn't ask. She didn't pull up a schedule, ask on the intercom, call his line or anything. She then laughed and said Mr. Hampton doesn't take walk-in so this alone wouldn't be a big deal, even though I think the laugh is rude. She then turned her chair away from me with her back facing me. I said excuse me and she put headphones in. There was one other guy waiting to see our office manager for a job as a courier and he was kind of snickering and amused. It was embarrassing and unacceptable. I then raised my voice and said I need to see Mr. Hampton and I'm going ahead. As I said, he's expecting me. She just laughed. It wouldn't buzz me in. It's a set of office suites and to get to what we call the bullpen you have to be buzzed in. I don't know if she saw me through the glass, but the office manager ran up and buzzed me in, and greeted me by name. The receptionist went white as a sheet. I could tell she was crapping bricks. I signed the papers and let my partner know what had happened. He walked out with me and just told her to pack her bags. Legitimately fired on the spot. When I look back, I feel kind of bad for her. But it was so ridiculous. There's no reason to treat anyone that way. A client could have turned up underdressed as well. Absolute madness. Don't feel bad. A decent receptionist would have asked for your name and checked with her boss if she doubted he really was expecting you. The fact she went as white as a sheet when she heard your name shows she knew it. Late to the party, but I'll throw my worst one in anyway. I was supervising a tech support call center. One of the female techs walks up to me, face white as a ghost. I ask her what's wrong. She doesn't say a word, just gestures for me to follow her. I do. She points me around a corner of cubes. I find one of the agents with pee on his screen. Trousers down, hands busy. We did him a solid. Security escorted him out. They packed up his belongings wearing gloves. We told him we wouldn't press charges if we never heard from him again. I left a few months after that, but at least while I was there nothing more was heard from him. I think for some reason he really wanted to lose his job and couldn't make himself quit or come up with a less lewd way to get himself fired. This particular call center wasn't shy about calling the cops either. Before I became a supper guy was arrested for cramming orders for extra commission. Ended up having to pay full restitution and 2 years probation on top of it. Loved bragging about hard work and dedication too. Well, the restaurant I was an assistant manager of got raided by detectives from a nearby suburb. They took away a shift leader in handcuffs and searched every nook and cranny they could find. It turned out that he had committed murder. He might have gotten away with it, but he sat there not quite a week after the crime at a table in the restaurant and described the crime to the person he was sitting with. Someone overheard him turned him and turned him into crime stoppers. I've often wondered if it was a customer or an employee that overheard that conversation. He is serving life in prison. So sad all around. I managed a bowling center for about 10 years. I hired a kid who'd never had a job before, and he was a little on the odd side, but he seemed pretty smart, so I took a chance on him. About a month into his employment, a very very large woman came in with her family. This kid couldn't believe how big she was. He kept insisting to everyone that it was a costume, that is to be a fat suit, he kept saying. He wouldn't give it up. He then decided to get the truth. He walked up to this poor woman in front of her entire family, and asked her, are you really that fat, or is it just a costume, I've never been so dumbfounded in my life. He was suspended immediately, and terminated after the HR investigation. The woman was so upset, she ended up getting some pretty hefty compensation from the hotel, which was much deserved. Beating his girlfriend in the parking lot, he was quite shocked when I had him placed under arrest and press charges. Guy was a freaking T. The worst one I personally had to manage was when one of my graduate engineers exported a bunch of our VMs and uploaded them to his Dropbox. Fired on the spot. That was fun. Most unprofessional I heard of was from the owner of my company. He told me when he was managing systems engineers at a large aerospace engineering firm, while showing a bunch of customers around their facilities early one morning. One of his engineers had heard him coming and jumped out at him from between a couple of racks completely bollock naked. They'd been working flat out right up until delivery. 
to the point where the guy was working until midnight and getting in at 6 for that last week. They were mates who'd been with the company for 15 years together up to that point and used to prank each other in the office all the time. The guy just hadn't slept much and had lost track of time. Fired immediately. I often think about how he must have felt in those few moments before jumping out. How excited was he? How certain he was going to really get the better of his mate? I'm not the manager, but my manager told me the only time he's ever immediately fired someone on the spot was when an employee casually brought a gun to work and was cleaning it in our very, very small backroom break room. Just sitting there cleaning the gun, not scheduled for a shift or anything. I wasn't the manager but I had a co-worker going around telling the guys in our shop that he would lick the juices off my, then, husband just to get a taste of me. I run a theater company. I one time had hired a director who brought in her boyfriend, who had very little acting experience for a show. While I was against this, I chose to let slide. What I did not let slide, was when I unlocked the theater the next morning and found them freaking on set. I normally would have just warned them for those who don't work in the industry. This is actually super commonplace in theaters, but usually people know how to be subtle, and had them meet with HR. However, we were doing an E and there were 12 little girls standing directly behind me who witnessed this on stage activity. I ended up firing both of them and we moved Annie to the next season. Had to fire an employee within the first week. He, we thought jokingly, said was going on smoke break, mimicking the signs of smoking a pipe. Came back 20 minutes later reacting of pot. My experience has been about 50 stroke 50 for potheads. Some of them just keep their hair down and work hard all day. Some have their head in the clouds. Caught on CCTV. Two guys working next to each other on an assembly line. Obvious banter going on between them which goes a bit too far. One gets his head slammed into the steel casing of the conveyor. Who then gets up and uses a rubber mallet to bludgeon the attacker. Both were fired. Gross misconduct and lying. Both said it wasn't them even though we had CCTV and witness statements from shift managers. Both guys were okay. Trip to hospital for checkups, some time off work while investigation was ongoing and then fired about a month later. Wasn't a manager per se, but the director of a summer camp. On the first day of camp, one of the sits, campers in training to be a counselor, aka a volunteer hoping to be hired next year, punched a kid in the stomach because he was being annoying. The kid then threw up on the floor in front of everyone. Imagine being that kid lol. Fricked. The sit got fired real quick. In the 90s. My dad had to fire a guy who didn't know the company would know if he used his office computer for P. He was a software engineer. For an aerospace company. When I met this guy before this incident. We discussed tattoos. And his advice was don't do anything irreversible. Working at Pizza Hut. I had a new delivery driver out on a snowy day, seemed to be doing fine. Then I get a call from one of his deliveries where he was supposed to deliver to the community center desk. What he did was call them from his car and tell them to come get their pizza. He didn't even get out of his car to hand it to them. Didn't even bother asking for his side. Retail manager. I had an employee that we hired for a seasonal position. She worked pretty well but was kinda loud and obnoxious. She liked to sneak food to her cash register and eat between customers despite a couple of warnings. I thought I saw her with food at her register again so I went to investigate. As I walked up on her she had a full on fast food meal sitting in an open drawer with a customer in front of her. She realized I was standing behind her and said what the frick are you looking at she was terminated on the spot. She even went as far as to purposely bump into me while leaving and started screaming that I hit her. She had announced that she was pregnant a week or so earlier so of course that played into the drama. She said she was going to sue me for hitting her and her baby. She was freaking nuts. Nothing ever came of it. She called the district manager later that week to complain about me. I had already sent the DM the camera footage so he just politely told her to frick off and we never heard from her again. I work at an airport. Stocking guy tried to bring a pocket knife in through security and was escorted out in handcuffs by the police. Apparently he had warrants. Colon poor dude probably just wanted a sharp knife to open the boxes. I had a pocket knife I would carry around when I worked at a corner store. It was handy. 
not a manager, but when I was in a meeting with some people that came up from Netflix, super important meeting, with super important people, one of the women from sales, who honestly didn't even need to be there, but she was often very pushy about getting into meetings and usually got her way, farted, and it stunk bad. It was a relatively small boardroom, and it got quite hot during the winter. Well, this normally unpleasant room was now filled with an extremely unpleasant odor, a scent that paints a picture of an abandoned old folks home, where the trash bags of dirty diapers and moldy soft foods were left to sit and rot away with the building. It was a very obvious fart smell, to say the least, and we all heard it, and knew who it came from, but, as mature adults in their place of work, Obviously no one said anything, and the meeting continued until the woman that farted, overwhelmed with embarrassment, interrupted the meeting in order to blame the fart on one of the Netflix people. It was super awkward, completely derailed the meeting, and I believe even legitimately angered both people from Netflix. She was fired before the Netflix people headed back to LA. Heard from a friend. It was during Chinese New Year. People get packet with money in it. Anyway, some managing director went during the weekend and saw an envelope on the table of one of his staff. He opened its all $100 note, he swapped it with a 20. The girl remembered she had a 100 there. They checked the camera and caught the guy. He got fired for that, considering he was making crap ton of money. Horrible guy. Dude came in very late and very high. I told him to leave and come back tomorrow, early and sober. He didn't like that idea so he took a swing at me, fell down, fired. Used to manage a call center for a large corporation with a few stores that had retail counters. A corporate would require these guys to have a minimum phone time or else you'd run the risk of being written up. The higher ups and their infinite wisdom decide that whole time is just as good as actual talk time. So there was a lot of employees manipulating their phone times like calling their own cell phones and putting themselves on hold. Wrote a few employees up for these actions. I don't blame them. I would have done the same thing. Anyways, we fire one employee for typical reasons. Disobedient, disrespectful, multiple warnings. Anyways, whenever we fire someone we review all their company emails to make sure we take care of any unfinished deals and we found an email string between him and another employee that worked on a retail counter showing off their long hold times with actual customers. They'd bagmouth the customers saying how stupid they were. Some customers were waiting 15-20 minutes for help just so they can get their daily phone time up. Normally I hated having to fire someone. That one was easy. Not a manager but I worked at the store and was friends with the junior manager who told me about it. It was a well known clothing store. My friend D was closing up for the night along with another manager P. As they were closing up they were chatting. It was Friday night so they were asking about weekend plans etc. P said he was too broke to do anything. D took out one of the cash bags, went to grab something else for a second, came back and started doing the cash for the night. The store had this policy that I think is stupid. If they were under or over up to 100 euros they didn't question it. So as D is sorting out the cash for the night, P starts talking about his plans. D said didn't you say you were broke P said something about cash he forgot he had. D was suspicious but kept quiet. The following day, P was off and D was in. He went to her manager and told him his suspicion that P had taken some of the cash. They checked the security camera for the previous night. And sure enough in the split second D was away from the cash bag P came up and grabbed a 50 euro from it. They then checked footage and realized that this guy had been swiping 50 euros 100 every night he closed the till. He varied it so it was never exactly the same. And kept it under the something went wrong here limit. The head manager called him to come in. Said someone had called in sick and they needed him to cover. I guess he figured they were onto him and he never showed up. He was from a different country. I guess he went back home because he was never heard from again. They estimated he stole a serious amount of money because he worked at the company for several years and regularly closed the till. Oh I have a good one. Early on in my career I was a manager in a big fortune 500 companies call center. The building we were in was built in such a way that you had 3 floors and in the middle of every floor there was a square hole which allowed you to look all the way down to the ground floor. With a big light well on top so the building was very bright. On the ground floor there was a set of computers that everybody could use to do all their non-work related stuff. Check email, Facebook, 
etc, etc. One evening I was working a late shift when one of the security guards comes over to me and asks me to come with him. So I follow him to the balcony and he points downwards. One of the guys who wasn't on my team directly but was part of the same language group I was a manager in, was sitting behind one of the PCs in the middle of the floor watching P and giving himself the old inside the pants rub down so I instantly started laughing at the absurdity of the situation, which caused him to turn around, which in turn caused his dong in his hand, to pop out of his pants as he looks up with a deer caught in the headlight look. The absurdity of the situation was hilarious but what made it even better is we escorted him out of the building and told him to come back the day after to come collect his things and his P45. Formed a show termination of employment. When I told my manager later on he went oh, Dino was at it again was he. Yeah we've been trying to catch him for ages. He used to jerk it in the bathroom but we never were able to catch him. Had a new employee, on her second shift, look at a mixed baby we were all smiling at from afar and say that was just so wrong. She went on to explain how horrible it is that there are so many white girls getting with black guys that it was nearly an epidemic. I just didn't understand yet because I'm new in town. Well surprise, I'm mixed too. Her back paddling just made it worse. She left behind incredibly bad. Incredibly X-rated, incest-riddled supernatural fanfiction on my computer desktop. Of course she wrote herself in as a Mary Sue. Of course she used the phrase hot meat love wand. Of course she cried and blamed her autistic ADHD for writing about Dean and Sam slamming her various little wet woman holes. Of course she blasted me on her tumblr. So she was a typical supernatural fan. Source. I watch the show, enjoy most of it, can't stand the fandom. My company is very liberal on alcohol consumption while on the clock or lunch breaks, but it does have its limits. Dude came back absolutely crap face from lunch and grabbed one of our receptionists out of her chair, lifted her up and started spinning as if in ballet. The receptionist was screaming to put her down and as he did we promptly led him right through the door. Not a manager, but a co-worker at my old job shot up while she was charting and then fell asleep in a patient's room on knock shift. She didn't wake up until hours later when the DNS came into the room on morning shift. One employee was texting customers and taking money under the table. Came to our attention when the bill wasn't what the customer expected. So they came to us asking for a better deal. The texts the customer emailed us. To support their side and in the hope of a better deal. Included the immortal line I got two white guys watching me. We had to dig deeper to figure out how much of a pile we were stuck in, but he was gone that night. <laughs> was a house manager for a men's ministry. We took people in typically right from jail or other situations where they needed to get back on their feet and back into society. We get a new guy sent to us that at first wanted to join in. He had the shortest time of anyone there at 3 days. Within those 3 days he complained about the amount of work that was expected despite signing paperwork that he'd be willing to do it, left food and dirty dishes in the living room, left a broken raw egg on the floor outside his room, stole food from someone else, passed out watching TV, sold his meds for booze money, and got drunk enough he slipped and fell, resulting in him going to the hospital. We told the people that were his counselors that he was just not going to fit in and had them pick up his stuff while he was in the hospital. I was a sous chef at an upscale restaurant in that historical tourist place in Virginia. Had a fry cook get pee at a server who decided to bypass talking to me, on expo, and talk directly to him, the frickirk. They proceed to argue about how hot the fries were that were sent out and before I could calm the situation, he pulls up a basket of hot fries and slings the contents at the server. She had some minor burns, but fortunately his aim was crap and most of the fries hit her waist area covered by an apron. Fry cook was immediately sent home and later fired. I also think he was charged with some kind of assault. Though I don't know what came of it. You can't have fries without assault. <laughs> Giving all the hot ladies in the depth sweet I love you cards on a third day on the job and nowhere near Valentine's Day. Literally a select few. Was no for creepy behavior before at other places. <laughs> so I was young. And I was going with my uncle in his car. We found a beer distributor truck parked in the middle of the road. Literally he was horizontally occupying both lanes. We waited and when we saw they weren't planning to move my uncle got put and gently told them to move so we could pass. 
They said yeah but we waited another 5 minutes and they won't move. So my uncle got out again and told to move. Now more firmly. Uh, frick off. We are working. Don't you see? Go other way and they laughed. Then my uncle calmly called his best friend. Who actually was the manager of that distribution company. He told him the issue and the number of the truck and then his friend immediately said sorry and hanged up. It seemed very rude. But then we saw that he called in the truck's radio and we heard everything. The manager was very angry and first told them to move. And then leave the truck there and go home. He fired them at the spot. Over radio. Man seems risky with a truck full of beer right there. My first boss was telling some war stories. Here are the best ones. All much more interesting than mine. In the 90s he worked for a phone company that purchased one of the first prepaid cell phone startups. This was a bad deal because it came with all their baggage. Employees. From top to bottom was a total mess organized crime connections. Money laundering. Stolen goods etc. The old manager. 5 feet 3 in his 40s. Fancipants was banging several of the ladies. The ladies got extra perks for being his friend like extended time off, overtime pay when they did not work. It all fell apart when they learned about each other and got into a fight over him at work 5 feet 3 inches was fired. Ladies on probation since they were afraid of losing jobs if they said no. After that my boss was promoted and had to take over this mess. In 6 months fired 18 people. One young guy had family connections and major anger management issues. Let's call him AM. AM was not logging into phones, taking two hour lunch breaks etc. One day a co-worker gave him grief about slacking off so AM walks away. He comes back with his heavy desk phone and goes behind the guy who was sitting in a chair and yanks him backwards sending the poor guy sprawling onto the ground. AM proceeds to beat the guy with his desk phone, sent him to the hospital. Obviously AM arrested and fired. One of the ladies earned extra money during lunch breaks. Let's call her Trixie she was giving her male co-workers a release in the bathroom for a donation. At the Christmas party she got caught in the restaurant bathroom red handed by one of the higher ups. Trixie and her John were let go. Sounds like a dive restaurant in New Jersey. Not a manager, but I used to work as a dealer in a casino, and when I was on break I was told I had to replace someone at the craps table because of an emergency. It turns out the guy I was taking over for had a player, happened to be a black guy, who he was not getting along with and was maybe making quiet bets. You have to speak up at the craps table, or wasn't being clear. And the dealer's response to him was sorry sir, but I don't speak black and ease. He wasn't terminated on the spot, but he wasn't allowed to deal anymore and was gone by the end of the week. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.